Okay, you guys, my birthday was April 21st. I was born April 21st, 1993, so I'm 27 now. Seven is my favorite number, so it's gonna be a great year. I think that's what that means, right? <laughs> So this video is from my birthday. I woke up and of course went shed hunting. That's the only thing to do when you're like quarantined and the world is shut down because of the coronavirus. You just gotta go shed hunting by yourself and you guys know that's like my favorite thing that I've been doing all the time anyway. So come along with me and enjoy my birthday shed hunt. If you guys could do me a favor as a birthday present to me that costs nothing to you, give this video a thumbs up, share it somewhere, spread the word about my channel. My YouTube channel is my baby and I love it so much and just giving this video a thumbs up commenting and subscribing goes a long way in supporting me and it's free to you okay guys enjoy the video well you guys you know what the smile means I just started hiking up this mountain and I was just like you know what I need to make a video to tell you guys my game plan because that's what I usually do before I find sheds I kind of fill you in on my game plan and then <laughs> I don't know why, like, Miss Negative over here. Not really negative, I guess just superstitious or whatever. But I said to myself, it's my birthday, and I think I've had all this luck. Watch, my birthday will be the first day I get skunked. <laughs> That's literally what I thought. That's a bad attitude. Don't have that, you guys. But I just kept thinking that in my head, and I, I held off filming because I'm like, whatever, I'll just have a good time outside. Sure enough, freaking monster I can tell from here huge hard white elk shed let's go check it out oh, I'm so excited you guys know the drill when I crack this baby open good things happen somebody commented you drink your monster and you start finding monsters <laughs> and they're probably right this is a good good shed I wonder what it is could be a match to something I already have. Could be a totally different bowl. Look at how thick this stuff is. Oh. Whew. Wow. Thick and steep. Check it out. Okay. Coming around the corner and then you guys will be able to see it. Oh. Dang, is that a good shed or what? That looks good. That's a big bull. Just how I like him. Whew. Hell yeah. Oh, look at this gnarly, thick stuff he's in. So he's not as giant as he looked from down the hill, but he's still good. Let me sneak through here. Hell yeah. Nice shed, nice six point. Good front. Good third. He's in good shape, hard white shape for sure. I gotta find his other side. Okay, tight quarters in here as usual. But I think I'll be able to get everything on camera. Okay, gonna pick him up. This one could be two years old. His fronts have a little bit of cracking on him. Still like good hard weight, hard white shape throughout most of it, but could be two years old. Whew, it's a heavy antler. What a cool bull. Very cool. Good fronts. Nice mature oak for sure. Hopefully we find some more today. So I guess I do have some birthday luck because I'm only two hours into my hike. And in like previous days I didn't find them until like way late afternoon. So I still have a lot of time and a lot of ground to cover. So maybe I could turn up a couple more. Stop. 
I picked this really steep cliffy section to go down the mountain and all of a sudden we are getting into some signs, some recent, some old, but it's just literally littered with sign around here. So hopefully that's a good thing and we find some sheds. I don't care if they're this year, last year, however old they are. I've been finding a lot of hard whites, so I really want to find these same bulls browns because they're all big, mature, really good bulls and their browns have to be somewhere. What a funny and like yet typical Utah day. It's gone from cold long sleeve to really, really cold jacket to blue sky, sunny day, short sleeve and like back and forth and all over the place. Right now it's on sunny day short sleeve and I hope it stays that way because that is my favorite. I stopped for a second, took my pack off. I'm gonna have a snack cause my tummy's grumbling. <laughs> Okay, you guys, snack time. This is my snack of choice when shed hunting. I keep millions of them in my backpack for emergencies. And what's cool is you can see this one's kind of all crushed up. Whether they're crushed up, they're warm, they're cold, they are always good and they always taste good and like the same. So that's kind of nice. Whereas you don't have to worry about like beating it up because it's literally a coffee cake bar. It tastes amazing no matter what it looks like <laughs> from the hell it goes through in your backpack. so mean but i wanted to take a second for just a special video dedicated right to the scout to hunt the hunt before contest uh because it's ending soon it ends may 4th which is coming up um it does give some time for you like colorado nevada people wyoming certain parts of wyoming people who have shed closures until may 1st so i'm gonna link scout to hunt's website contest rules below so you can get real precise details there also but the contest is called the hunt before so there's three categories oddity which is like you walking up to a shed there's sidekick probably my favorite uh, category which is like your shed hunting buddy whether it's like your dog or your cat or your rhinoceros your baby your wife your husband Whatever it is, that's the sidekick category. So a picture with like sheds and your sidekick. And then the last category is prime, which is like high quality camera gear, stuff like that, high resolution photos. So those are the three categories and there's already been some amazing entries. So it's not too late, get out there, find some sheds, take some photos with them. If you have old photos, you can post them too. Make sure you hashtag the hunt before, tag scout the hunt, tag myself on Instagram. So first prize is $2,000 towards a hunt, basically a sponsored like over-the-counter hunt or general season tag hunt, whatever tag you have or can easily get. Scout to Hunt will put $2,000 towards it. The next prize, that's like the grand prize one giant biggest winner. Next, each category will have a main winner and them plus one, you can bring whoever you want can go on an all-inclusive, all-paid-for shed hunting trip with me and the other judges, which are Ben Shed Crazy, Ben Sandal, and Wes Rise and Shed. Um, those are kind of their Instagram names. So that'll be fun. We would definitely have some good time. It'd be like an overnighter towards the end of May. Hopefully this virus situation goes away. Some people have been asking me about that. We haven't changed anything yet, but we will always keep you updated. So yeah, it's an awesome contest. Definitely enter if you guys have any questions about it at all. Feel free to comment below. Check it out on the website link below. Get out there and find some sheds because it'll put a huge smile on your face. It's so fun. And remember, like I said, I'm a judge. You guys know what I like. 
tag me in them, take some pics out there. I can't wait to see what you guys come up with. Passing through, never seen anything wild as you. It's hailing. Evil. Why? Ow. Okay, I lied. It, it kind of feels good at the moment. I'm sure pretty soon I will be cold and mad about it. But right now, it feels kind of nice, the hail. <laughs> ah, it's cold. What's up YouTube? It's an editing day, meaning I'm here editing all day in my pajamas, in my nice little house. But I just wanted to say that shed that I found, I've been so spoiled finding like really big sheds every day. That shed is actually way bigger than I thought. It ended up having 55 inch beams, which is huge. That gives you an idea for like the length of the antler. And I know that because, well, I decided to measure it because I put it alongside all the other big antlers that I found recently and it was longer than like all of them. And I was like, holy crap. <laughs> so it's definitely a really good find and something really cool happened in my next upcoming shed hunting video. So definitely stay tuned for that one because if you like this video and like this shed, you're gonna like that shed and it's really unique. It's it's not a match like you think, maybe, I don't know. I'm not gonna tell you, but it's very cool. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you're staying safe and happy and healthy. If you could do me a favor, give this video a thumbs up, like, and subscribe to my channel. Helps me out um, as a full-time YouTuber a ton. And that's all I ask and that's free to you. And like I said, check out all the information below for the Hunt Before contest. It's linked below as well as all the products I use in my shit hunting videos. I hope you guys are having a great time, great night, great whatever, and we'll see you on the next video. Bye.